Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Anthony. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm coming at you guys with a brand new reaction. In today's reaction, I'm coming at you guys with Crip's newest music video, 9th September. Um, he's actually dropping a three-part mu music video series. First one was Us. I already saw that. Story to it was crazy. Song is awesome. My favorite song from the album was Us. Um, now we have 9th September, and the next is going to be Tales from the Crypt, his album um, single or, you know, his uh, title album, title song, whatever you want to call it. So pretty much, you know, this, there's a whole story behind it. The first part was us and he was in an orange jumpsuit like the, the movie us not sampled us the sound from the soundtrack and pretty much the story went him breaking into his ex-girl's house or like you know this girl's house and he kidnapped her so pretty much this is going to be the continuation of the story and how you know and where he brought her um i'm very excited you know encrypt congrats on a million subscribers you deserve it man you're a grinder you know you put in a lot of work especially when, when, when you have a full-time job outside of youtube you definitely deserve it man so before we do get into this guys if you guys want to go follow me on spotify link in the description below uh, also want to hit the subscribe button i'm on my way to 200 subscribers and yeah we got about 35 seconds so i'm excited for this video man um let's just get into it let's get it this song is awesome this song is a banger so if, if i sing along during it guys just know it's a banger Fine singing. You put it in the trunk, that's what I thought, that's what the teaser was. Where are they going? The cemetery? Hey, she's a good actor though, bro, she's a good actor. You done made me do Now I got blood stains in my trunk Cause of you Guess I can't trade it in For the truck that I want Cause I sent a slut It's stuck in the coop You could've bleed on your period But now shake it serious You got hemophilia Who knew I did it But no surprise there Just another secret Just like all the guys That you told me You ain't sleep with now Tell me about it Did it feel good Was the sex astounding Did you think about me at all When his balls are deep in your ass Can it fucking pound it Of course not Another door closed Another slut Who can't control the hormones Why are you doing this What did I do Allow me to refresh your mind boo It was a cold fall night in 2017 September 17th down in Tennessee I was laying in my bed A garbage bag around my head Wishing I was dead I could barely breathe I spent the summer Trying to bring you back to me Turn away some different opportunities Women trying to make me happy But I pushed them back Cause I knew that you were all I need I put the bag over my head And I tied it Tight. My vision started slipping, I was getting less light I was finally forgetting the misery and the fights Then my mind started taking me through all of my life Flashback three years ago, I was in my college dorm Flipping through Instagram, looking for another soul Then I came across you and followed you A minute later, you followed me back and I knew it was time to make a move So I messaged you, here's my number You can text me if you want to, trying to play cool But I was nervous, I incurred by girls who were less pretty than you But then I got a text and then we made some plans To go on a double date with some friends that weekend We watched a movie, we sat in the back the whole time We made out and laid down on my side of the car Then your shirt came off and then you cried Real hard about how you left it, he was big and your right, right one was small. small. I said I didn't care, I knew it then in there. This was a mistake, what didn't happen, it was in the air. I've known this girl for an hour, and now her chest is bare. This is something I never normally do, I swear. We need to take it slow, I really like you when I'm scared. But then you crawled up in my bed with no underwear. I should have known it wouldn't last when I was in your west before I met your dad. And man, the shit is sad, but it Bro, one thing about the song though, man. Dude, the storytelling before the video even came out, bro. Like, whenever I heard the song, like, I just knew, like, there's some songs where I listen to it, and I'm like, I, I get an idea for a video in my head. This is one of those songs where I listen to it. I'm like, yo, this could, this concept for a video would be dope if, if he does this. It was, one, it was one of those, you know, that like I had a video in my head by listening to the song, you know? It's a fact you went for months without the use of a fucking 10 pack. Man, this shit was scary. Even though I knew I never nutted in you, but you tell me. I think I'm pregnant. No, I know I'm pregnant. I'm getting more than sickness in my belly stretching. But it turned out your hormones are fucked up. You somehow thought that I would leave you stuck. That's when you told me. Dang, you would never do this. Plenty of times we thought I was having this kid, but his jizz, Miss McClinton, hit my tits and lips. Man, I still get pissed when I think about it. Bitch, even back then you were speaking about him. But that that scheme was kind of cool, though, when, when he's like, but his jizz only hit my tits. Never, his just never hit my hit my tits and lips like, bro, like, like the way he just put that all together right there was, was nasty. And I paid no attention to what was allowed in. Well, the signs were there the whole time, but fake love can make your eyes so blind. I thought what we had would last a lifetime, but your ass lied. So now you gotta die. What if I treated you that like you treated me? Went through your phone every single motherfucking opportunity. Don't you come into with me? You're the one that didn't trust me. Thought it was fucking every other thought in the sea. Wait a second, don't let me get ahead of the story. That was the first six months. We got plenty more of it to go see. Where were we? Oh yeah, that's right. Another year ago, and I tried to commit suicide, so my life's still flashing before my eyes. The memory of our first fight has just 
just went by. Then I remember that next September you drove an hour to go see a guy who just happened to be an ex-boyfriend. The one he cheated on me with, but back then he was just an old friend. Whoa, man, I get really pissed and so did you. But you got mad at me because I got mad at you. What the fuck was I supposed to do? Be okay? All right, babe, you can go and hang out with an old flame. You're an hour away and nobody knows that you're there. I'm sure you're going to talk about how you dyed your hair. Now here we are, six months later, when the same thing happened to me. An ex-girlfriend hits me up to hang out. You see that I told her no, but still accused me of cheating, even though I have the receipts. And now was the peak of this bullshit because you got pissed at me for weeks, thinking I was underneath some seats with someone else. But bitch, that's what you were doing. Can't you see what, what the, the fuck, fuck you're doing? You turned an innocent man into a guilty one. I never wanted it to be like this. I loved you, but you made it to the point where I can't even trust you. It's kind of funny that you waited till I graduated this college to tell me that you no longer want to be with me. But that was just for the moment. You just wanted a break so you could try another dude and fucking keep me your strength. And that's exactly what happened. Need to remind you of the trip to Orlando when you found out we lied to you. Then you tried to get back with me, but it felt weird because you know that you were a liar too. I can read it on your face. Things were different. We no longer had faith, and you just seemed too distant. And I didn't change a bit. It was all you, but you acted like it was me, and it would fall through. Even though that summer I went to a jeweler and I picked out a brand new ring. I had asked your dad if I could marry you, and he said that it was the best thing. But on May 15th, we sat down at the back of the house on the porch swing, and you told me that you wanted to break, and it was all you, and it wasn't me. And I broke down and had to leave your house, and your mom asked what had happened to me, but you lied to her and said I broke up with you. Happy birthday, Ashley. I'm really proud of what you've become, and I hope you enjoy your day today, however you choose to spend it. But I can't lie, I really feel like you should spend it with me. And spend a lot. Okay, so it's him just, you know, you know, just missing her and trying, trying to get back with her. Okay. No, but we both know that you broke up with me. You wanted to be an angel on the rise and didn't want them to see that their baby girl lied. But their baby girl lied with another man while she was dating me. And I don't understand how you can sleep at night. How the fuck can you keep any sort of peace of mind? How the fuck can you think what you did to me was even sort of justified? You fucking cheated. And you broke my trust for the past two years. I've been so fucked up. It affected my brain. It affected my strife. It affected my ways. I thought in my mind. It affected my days. It affected my nights. It affected every single aspect of my life. It affected my pain. It affected my strife. It you and I both already had both our kids' names picked out. You and I both already had our homes and our home lives planned out, but I got kicked out. Hey, at least you didn't have kids with this girl. Hey, that's all I'm saying. At least you did not have kids with her, man. You know, the God. The last thing that my grandma told me before she closed her eyes for eternity, she was sad that she never got to meet my kids. That was six months ago, and it burns in me because of you. I can never give it that. I wasted three years of my life, and I can get it back. So flashback to the back over my eyes. I just sent you a text asking why you don't want to be with me. Don't you lie? So you called me, and I heard you cry. You said you had to tell me something that you never wanted to, but you just couldn't deal with the lies. So I took the bag off my head, and I drove to meet you at the church gate, and you got in the passenger seat again, just like you did on our first. My man just beat the shit out of her. But look at COD 2361. Oh, no, never mind. I, I thought it was COD. I'm stupid. And I drove to meet you at the church gate. And you got in the passenger Ooh, seat again. Just like you did on our first day. But this time, King you shit. were crying. Because he spit the whole summer line. And you led me to believe that I had a chance to save our love from dying. That's when you told me that you cheated. Slept with your ex. He kept them under wraps just so I wouldn't see it. Told me that I couldn't treat you any better. But felt like my love for you had depleted. And that's when you picked up the phone. And you called Daniel to confide. You felt like you were all alone on the cold September night. And you left my heart torn and so broke. And you drove off into the night. And that's when I went on home to put a bullet between my eyes. But before I do that, I had to get you. And that's why we're here now. I had to tell the story of how you fucked my life up. But now there's a big crowd. You ain't give me memories, you give me scars. A low self esteem and a broken heart. I know you're scared, but just remember you caused this that night in September. Ha! I mean, that video was crazy, bro. <laughs> video was crazy, and that ending perfectly sets up "Tales from the Crypt." Because if you guys, if you guys had heard the album, the opening song "Tales from the Crypt," um, before it is an emergency room skit, where he's being rushed into the emergency room, so he shoots himself and then he kills her as well. So that's what the that that, that that's what the next one's probably going to be, you know. Um, them rushing them into the the emergency room. You know, but wow, I don't know what to say. That was crazy. Storytelling was perfect. 
in general is just crazy, man. Good job, you crypt. I can't I can't wait for the next part. Jesus, man. Wow. I was not expecting that. I thought that he was gonna do that in the last part. I was expecting the, the last video to him him to do that. So I guess the next video is just gonna be him being rushed to the hospital then. Because he set up he set it up perfectly. But yeah, he just retweeted something that said the ending got me speechless, bro, for real. I hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you guys did like and subscribe, like I said, I'm with 200 subscribers. Wow, man. Crip, good job, man. That was a banger-ass video, man. All right. Till next time, guys. Peace out.